Hey guys, I am Kyle and in today's video, I am going to show you how to use the Canva free version. Alright, so now here we are in the Canva free version and I already have my free version account right here. So what we'll be discussing in this video is the essential features that you would need to learn in order for you to effectively use Canva in the free version. So let's get started. So the first one is right here at the left side. So from here, you can see that you have your home. And by the way, you can hide this menu if you click on this button right here. So if you can't see it, then you can just click it right here. So you have your home, which is this one right here. And you have your Magic Studio, which is a new feature. So from here, you can use the power of AI all in one place. So you have your Magic Design and you have your Magic Design for presentations and Magic Designs for video. But this one is uh, you can try this if you want. You can click on Try Magic Design and then from here you can just go and select your design first and then actually you can just do this inside your uh, project or inside your design right here. So we'll be doing that later on. And then the next one is the projects right here. So from here you can see all your recent projects or all your saved projects right here. So when you want to go back to one project that you have previously worked on, then you can just do it right here. And you can see your projects right here that you created yourself and you can create, or you can see it right here on the shared with you right here. So you can see the projects right here that was shared to you by other people. So you can do that also right here. And you have your filters right here that you can also use. And then the next thing is that we're gonna go back right here let's go back right here let's go back to canva.com so that it will be quicker right here that con and then from here we will just be going back right there so we now have the templates right here so we're going to click on templates so obviously the best thing about canva is their massive library of templates and their templates is easily customizable even the free version one so yeah the canva is really the best one for you with designs it comes with templates and so on right here especially for posters and so on but canva is not really the best in terms in video editing uh, but it is understandable since this is not a video editing app, but it has that feature and I think it is sufficient if you are doing a simple video editing. And I think you can also create great videos with their templates, with your with their video templates right here. So yes, you also have video templates here in Canva if you would like that. So we would be exploring more of that later on. And the next thing is we have the brand, but this is only for pro versions, so we'll not be discussing this. So this is basically where you can uh, modify your brand and it's only for pro version. So we're just going to skip this one right here. We're just going to go back and then from here, we're going to go try apps next. So from here, you can incorporate a lot of apps into your Canva so that you can level up your design and you can be a uh, you can step ahead of your competitors right here because of apps right here. So you can also incorporate this depending on what you would need right here. So you have a lot. So you have your AA powered one. So you have your DID AA presenters, your Amigen, your Magic Media, and so on. You also have your productivity. So right here, you can go for Google Drive so that you can uh, directly import or export right here. So you can also use your Google Photos. Uh, Facebook, Instagram, and so on right here that you can incorporate into your designing or your workflow right here on Canva. So yeah, you can also do this right here and you also have your mockups, but your content planner is only for a pro version of Canva right here. And the uh, mockups right here, you also have this in case you would need one if you're designing for a product design and so on right here. You also have your product photos, so you can import your product photos right here so that you can just uh, pick them or you can organize them in under here in the product photos right here and you can magically bulk edit photos to get your products ready for sale. So this is very handy if you are selling products right here and you're using Canva and designing them. You can import your uh, photos right here of your products and then from here you can just edit all of them at once. So you can also do that so that you would have a, a much efficient workflow. And then the next one is you can create a team right here. So if you are designing uh, a project and you have some uh, members right here of your team, then you can just enter your 
email address right here and then you can click on start my team's free trial but yeah it's a free trial but you can explore more of that later on and of course we have the trash can or from here you can see the data right here that you have for your uh, recent projects that you have deleted so after 30 days it will be forever deleted or permanently deleted right here so make sure that you can uh, you view your uh, trashes from one to, uh, from time to time so that in this case you would be able to see what projects will be deleted permanently after 30 days right here so yeah this is where you can find all your deleted projects and so on so now that we are done discussing this the next thing is this important buttons right here so the first one is create a design when you click on this of course you can create a uh, template for sizes right here so you can select your sizes that you would want and then from here you can create from custom size or you can import a file if you have an external file that you would like to import here in canva you can also do that and then from here you have your settings so this one is where you can go and edit your account settings and so on and even your billings right there but yeah it's in the free version also and then you have these notifications if you have something that you would need to uh, receive from Canva. So for example, you reach out to their uh, contact support, then you can also do that or you can do that in the email. But enough with that, let's get into designing right away. So the first thing is I wanna show you the templates. So for example, I will be creating a poster right here. So I can go for poster for templates right here, or you can click on projects. And then from here, you can see your projects that involves poster right here but in this case we'll just go for poster and then we're gonna hit enter right here and then from here we can see a lot of posters uh, varying in sizes right here but yeah you can see it right here and you can choose whatever you want and for example I want this one so I'm gonna click on this one and then I can click on create on or use this template but as you can see you have this crown icon which means it is only available for the pro version so you would need to select one that is available for free so i think uh, let's go and um, find more let's say we would want uh, this one right here i think this i like the vintage vibe of this so i'm gonna click on customize this template if i am ready with the options right here but if not then you can create another size right here so you can choose the size and how many posters that you'd like then you can also do it right here and you can also mark this as favorite or as a star and you can see it right here in your uh, main menu right here you can see your favorites right here under your projects right there so let's go back right here into posters and actually let's go back to that uh, template right there and then from here you also have this button so more actions you can share this project or template and you can also report this if you would like and then you can see some relevant or the same templates as this one right here so yeah you can also do that and then from here let's say we want to customize this so click on customize template and then as you can see it would open up a new tab and then from here you can now edit that template right here and as you can see there is a background for this template compared to this one where you can also have the we can, where you can only have the uh, poster right here. So this is a new feature on Canva. As you can see, it has a background and so on right there. And yeah, and from here, you can see the size, by the way, right there. And now I'll be showing you when you create from this one right here. So we'll be just uh, doing this as an example. So let's say we want a 16 uh, by nine or nine or 1080p ratio right here. So we can also go for this one. So let's say this is the size that we want. So we can also do that. And then from here, we have it right here. So from here, as you can see, we now have this template. And when we go here in the design, let's just skip this right here. So when we go here in the design, all the design templates that we have right here is the same size right here. So this is another way for you to uh, search for templates if you want all of the templates to be on the same uh, size right here. So for example, right here, we have created this custom size right here so when we go into design and from here we can see the templates and then right here all the templates that we will see will be in the same size as this so this is another tip for you on how you can find your templates if you want them to be the same size as your canvas right here all right so now that you know about that let's start discussing this buttons right here so we have our design so from here you can see your templates 
your layouts that you'd want and your styles right here. You can try a new style. As you can see, you can see different colors and so on. So you can do that with a template. So from here, let's say we want, uh, let's say we can uh, search for a free design. So let's say this one right here. So and apply all 11 pages so that we can have it right here. And then from here, we can go into layouts. And then as you can see, got it right here. And you can see the suggested layouts right here for this template and as you can see right there and you can also see the styles right here so you can go for color palettes and then you can, as you can see you can change the color palettes right here and yeah just like that and let's go back right here so we're going to click in this button so that we can go back right there and i think we're going to stick to black because i think this is the most uh efficient or i think this is the most that looks good right here and then the next one is we have the elements so from here we have elements here on canva so there is a lot actually so from here you can see that we have the shapes we have the graphics tables ai image generator photos videos audios charts stickers frames grids and so on right here we have a lot so we'll just be uh, testing out a few elements right here so the first one is we have the frame so from here you can just simply insert a a, an image right here and it will be shaped exactly like that frame so let's just select a uniquely shaped frame so let's say we have the star and then from here we can add some photos so we can import something in the photos right here and let's say this one and we can import this into the uh, shape or into the frame we can just drag this photo and when we let go it will now be inserted to that frame just like that so that is a very good uh, element right there and then the next one is we have the AI image generator right here. So we'll be discussing that later on when we will be discussing all of the AI features right here on Canva. So just hang on tight if you would like to know more about the AI image generator right here. And then you have your stickers. So if you would want animated stickers, then you can find it here in Canva. But as, it, as you can see, we have a lot of free uh stickers right here that is animated but you also have some pro versions which is so much better right here and you can search for your uh elements that you would want right here so for example you'd want a blob then you can see it right here and you can go for stickers if you want what if you would want your blob to be animated right here blob stickers and then you can go here in graphics and then you can see your blobs right here that is animated right here so you can also do this as a design and yeah that is basically it for the elements let's not uh, dwell too much right here let's go for the text next so from here you can see your uh, text right here you can click on text to add to page so let's say you want a heading you want a subheading or you want a little bit of body text then you can do it right here with just one click and as you can see when you click on that it will automatically be uh, uploaded into your work so you can also do that and click on uh, delete let's delete this and then you can have your fonts right here that you would want so yeah this is basically a template for fonts so you can also do that but we also have effects right here when you click on the text you have all these uh, features right here that you can explore so you have this bold italic underlined uh, straight through and so on you have your alignment you have your list you have your spacing and you have your effects right here so you can have your shadow you have the lift right here you have the hollow and you can feel free in uh, exploring those effects right here we'll not be discussing it one by one so that i can save more of your time since you can just uh, uh freely explore it later on right here but it's really simple to control all you have to do is click on that and then it will be automatically applied to your text and then you can uh, uh modify the intensity or the controls right here when you apply the effect right here but we're not we're not gonna apply the text or that text effect right yet and we have the transition right here so of course every uh detail right here on canva every photo every text every animations or every uh stickers right here that you have in your work you could add an animation to them so for example this one i would like to animate this into something like this so this is the animation button on uh, Canva so you can also do this right here so you can go for party and it will be animated like this and as you can see it's like that right there but if you would like to do it like that as you can see I animated my uh, whole slide as a whole then you can click on your slide right here and you can click on the animation slide and then they will be animated as a whole right there 
but if you don't want this so i'm just gonna remove all animations or if you want to animate only one element right here on your screen so you can also do that select that element and then go into the animate uh, button and then from here you can select your animation right here so just like that it is the only one that is animated so you can also do that and then the next one is we have your positions of course you can position however you would want so you could perfectly align it right here you can click here on the position button and of course your opacity or transparency right here depending on how you want it and you have your copy style and your lock if you don't want it to be uh to be modified so that it won't uh what do I say this so that it won't uh, be a struggle to work with because sometimes when you work with too much layers here on canva you tend to move each one right here especially if there is one thing above the other so yeah lock is a really great feature so that you won't be able to move this one right here or accidentally move this one right here while you are editing some other elements right here that is near to this element right here so that this won't be moved and so on right there so yeah and now let's go back and then we will now be discussing the brand next and as as i have uh, mentioned earlier this is only for the pro version so we'll not be discussing this and we have our uploads right here so basically this is where you can see all the elements that you have uploaded here on canva so if you're looking for something that you have uploaded this is where you can find it you have your images videos and audios and then the next one is you have the draw so you can draw here freely on canva and you have your settings right here you have your different pens you have your move button you have your color you have your thickness your weight your transparency and so on so you could just do it right here on canva just like that if you would like that and we're just gonna undo this because we don't want this one and then we have our projects right here so you can see all your projects your designs that you would like to import in this current work that you have right here so you could also do that and then you have your apps right here so just like i have mentioned before you can add your apps into um into canva right here so you could go for equations typecraft and some apps right here that you would want and you can click on your apps right here so you can see all the apps right here that you have added into your canva account right here so in this case we will not be doing this one right here and let's go back all right so now the next controls that i am going to show you is this one right here at the bottom so as you can see right here this is basically an overview of all the slides or all the pages that you have right here in your work or your project right here so from here you can see the notes so you can click on notes and then from here you can add the notes right here when you are in presenter view or you can click on present present right here so you can also do that when you click on this you would have these options right here so you can also do that and this would be uh, displayed if you would want that and then you have your duration right here so when you click on duration as you can see you would now see the duration of each slide right here and we now have the play button right here so now this will be transformed into a video and from here you can click on each slide and then from here you can select each um, each duration for each slide and you can go for a uh, six and then you can apply this to all pages if you would want but in my case i would not right there and then you have your animation right here of course and you have your background color so i would not mess with this one if you have a template right here but you can always change that if you would need to and so on and of course you have also your lock and your position button right here and then the next one is that we are going to hover our mouse right here between the slides right here and we can see other options so you have your add page if you would like to add a page and you have your transition right here which we will be testing out so we'll get add a transition by clicking on the transition button right here so in this case we'll be going for a line white right here and then we're gonna add it into the other page right here just for an example which we'll be doing later on and then the next thing is we can see the timer right here so click on timer and then from here we can see that we have a timer right here so if this is necessary for you then you can also do this right here and when you would start the timer it would be like this so yeah if you're doing timers for your work then you can also do this right here and yeah if you are taking some work and then you are also taking some breaks in some intervals then you can also do this right here so this would come in handy in that way and you can see it right here when you minimize it so that it won't be like this right here and then the next one right here is we have our duration so this is our duration for the overall video right here 
if you put this on video style but as you can see if you right click on or click on duration again it will disappear right here so when i do it right here it disappears and now we have the number of pages right here instead of the number of seconds or minutes that we have right here and then right here we have the zoom page option so when you click on this one you can do it right here and you can also zoom on uh, thumbnails and you can adjust it right here and you'll be able to zoom this right here but if you'd like to zoom here then you can click here and make sure you're in the zoom page and then you can zoom it right here and then the next one is this one right here you have the grid view so if you'd like a grid view of all your slides and so on then you can click on this one right here but in my case i don't want that and you can have the full screen mode if you would want that then you can view this in full screen and then from here you have your uh, help button right here so if you need help in canva you can ask the ai right here to help you with that all right so now we are done with this one right here all we have left is this one right now but before we do this right here is we will be going for the ai features of canva so just like i promised earlier we will be going through the elements right here and we'll just close this and then from here we're going for ai image generation right here and actually a uh, canva has a lot more of ai powered tools that had that canva has to offer but in this case we are only seeing the ai image and generator uh, i think in this case it is only available for the pro version so if you would like more uh ai features in canva i suggest that you go for the pro version right there so we we'll go for ai image generator so we're going to click on this and then from here we can click on open and then right here so for example we would like to add some elements so what i have in mind is a brick statue and uh, i want it with the expression i mean a greek statue maybe just a face greek face statue um with the angry expression just like that now once you're done with your description of what image you would like to generate then you can go for styles on how you would want it to be uh made right here with the ai style then i would like it to be filmic right here so that it would be somewhat realistic right here and then i would want to choose the aspect ratio so i would want it to be square one or you could also go for portrait or you have uh these three uh templates or aspect ratios right here so in this case i'll go for aspect ratio as you can see in this one right here i have one out of 50 credits because i am not in pro version but in pro version i could use this infinitely right here so you can click here on upgrade for more so that you would have more credits right here so i can go click on generate credit right here and then i mean generate image i'm sorry so right here it will now be generated all we have to do now is wait and the best thing right about this one is that we don't have to wait too long right here even if it's just a free version and as you can see we now have our results right here so from here we can just import this right here so as you can see we now have this right here and we have some other options that we can do with this one so we can just right click on this right click and then we're get, gonna uh, align the layer to bring it to the front right here so this is another way that you can align your or you can organize your layer so we're gonna bring this to the front front as you can see now it is not uh overshadowed by the text so that is also another way that you can align your layers and so on you can replace the background and so on right here but this are basic uh are some basic controls right here that you can do in canva you have your link which you can attach a link right here into your image if you would want that so from here we can edit the photo right here click on edit photo and then from here we can use the background remover but this one is only available for uh for pro version so you can also do it right here and you could even add some filters to your photos right here and so on you also have your magic edit and so on right here so you can also do this um, so this is basically the same thing as the AI image generator tool and you also have your magic grab right here which you can also uh, use only for pro versions so you can have your filters and so on but if you don't have access to pro and you would like to have a background remover then what I suggest is that you go to remove that BG and then from here you can just 
uh, save this photo right here save this and then you can click on the upload image and it would be automatically uh, deleted right here I mean the background of it will be automatically deleted right here so that yeah, you can do that and that is basically it on the image generator tool and then you have some other options right here and then you could also our uh, um, change your prompts and so on right here if you would like that and you would have your video you also have a, a text to video option right here so that is basically the same thing with this one right here so you can also do this so in the video you can only use one out of five so be very careful with this one if you only have the free version so yeah you only have so limited credits right here all right, so now let's start wrapping up and let's discuss these buttons right here. So we have our present button. So just like I said, you can go and present in full screen or presenter view or present in a record. So this is useful when you're presenting online or if you're here in a class or if you would like this to be presented in a projector, then you can just do it right here in Canva. And it's basically the same thing when you are presenting in other apps. So you can click on present. It will now be like this and you can just click it right here and you can see your pages and so on. You have your other controls right here. So this is what presentation looks like in Canva. And then the next one, if you would like now to share your project or you can export your uh, work right here, then you can also do this right here. So you can share it right here. So by adding your groups, your people, the name of your people, or you could add your email right here. You can also do that. Or you could just simply give them the link right here. So you can click on anyone with the link and anyone with the link can edit and so on. You can comment, can view, depending on what permission you would give them right there. And you can click on copy link and now you can uh, send the link to other people that you would like to invite. And then the next one is you could now export your uh, file right here or your work and then you can go choose the file type so if you would like it to be a presentation right here then you can go for pdf standard or if you would like it to be uh, a video then you can go for mp4 and this will be exported as a video with a 54 uh, seconds duration right here and you can go for uh, select all pages to be incorporated in the videos right here and you can click on download and then just like that you'd be able to uh, export it as a video but you also have your other files right here, other type files. So you can also do that. You can also select them, but if you really need them, then you can just go and select them. But I suggest that you just go for a PDF standard or PNG if you would like to import it as an images right here or MP4 if you would like it to be a video. So yeah, that is basically it for this tutorial. I think I have discussed most of the basic features right here for the free version of Canva. So I hope this video helped you out. Thank you for watching.